My name is Thibaut Wersch. I'm a senior lecturer of information technology management and business simulations. I got involved in robotics, in engineering, uh, designing robotic arms, and that was a very interesting part of my career. In the past few years, I have been concentrating on the use of digital technology, uh, information technology in, corporate, in corporations, in enterprises, in the so-called digital firms. So all these digital devices, all these possibilities of collecting information, how does it or how will it change the enterprise? My teaching philosophy or my educational philosophy, I would rather say, uh, is, is really focused on a very short statement, if you like, is learn by doing. I do like involving students in the various activities and making sure that they have at least to some extent something similar to a, a real life situation and see how they perform, how they actually perceive the situation and how they can actually react to the situation in these simulated uh, instances. Hungary and the Central European region is a kind of crossroads, you could say, uh, between East and West. And to some extent, they work as a laboratory. It's a very big laboratory, and there are a lot of undefined rules in this laboratory. But you can observe something that is very unique, and you can observe transition, still transition, uh, in, in these countries. And the, the Central European University Business School, located in Hungary, provides this ability that you would be in a laboratory, you could look around, you could see how things work. Back before 2000, in Hungary, uh, military service was mandatory. And I was among the last ones who was conscripted in the army, and I was selected to become a tank driver. So I was put into the seat of the tank and I was requested to drive the tank but the problem was that I'm actually rather tall and I couldn't see anything uh, through the portholes and I couldn't see where I was going with the tank so I was just driving completely blindly of course after a few meters I crashed into a gate and that was the first and last time the Hungarian military services required me to actually drive a tank. 